Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Reliable Robotics sends uncrewed caravan on test flight. Lilium chooses Honeywell for jet system. And Rotor begins production on uncrewed helicopter. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Reliable Robotics sends uncrewed caravan on test flight. Reliable Robotics completed a test flight using an uncrewed Cessna 208B caravan operated entirely by a pilot on the ground 50 miles away. The company wants to corner the market on remotely piloted aircraft before the rest of the industry sees their worth. If successful, the firm believes its tech will further democratize the already legendary Cessna caravan, serving as, quote, an essential role connecting communities and businesses across the U.S. and around the globe, end quote. All the usual highlights of the C-208 apply to an uncrewed one, like its rough-and-tumble hardiness, 3,000-pound useful load, and respectable stall performance. With pilots operating them from afar, however, aircraft would no longer be hampered by pilot availability, position, or scheduling. The fleet could be far more missable throughout the region, allowing flexible operation unheard of in a world requiring a pair of aviators on every flight deck. Chris Harn, Senior Vice President of Engineering and Programs at Textron Aviation, said, quote, Textron Aviation is committed to delivering continuous aviation improvements, and our relationship with Reliable Robotics advances this work, end quote. Coming up after the break, OSIRIS-REx return investigation complete. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So for me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller is going to be right for me. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. OSIRIS REx return investigation complete. A recent return mission carrying samples from the asteroid Bennu raised eyebrows at NASA when a drogue chute failed to deploy during the landing sequence. During the return of the OSIRIS REx mission, a drogue was supposed to deploy at 100,000 feet to stabilize and slow the capsule during a five minute descent down to 10,000 feet. Instead, the signal triggered a different reaction at 100,000 feet, jettisoning the parachute prior to it even deploying. With its retention cord cut, the main parachute was forced to take the entire deceleration load on its own. Luckily, NASA says the margins as designed were sufficient to protect the Bennu sample. Italian Air Force takes flight with Block 5 MQ-9A. The Italian Air Force put one of their brand new MQ-9A Block 5 remotely piloted aircraft through its paces after a foreign military sale. The Italians already owned and operated a fleet of such aircraft that includes four Block 1 MQ-9As with two Block 15 mobile ground control stations backing them up. The new aircraft included both a spiffy new Block 5 aircraft and a new ground station to operate it. The units were tendered as a part of the Italian Air Force's midlife modernization update to the fleet of General Atomic's uncrewed aircraft. EVE Air Mobility and Flyness I Saudi Arabian Developments 
Evair Mobility joined hands with Flynus in an MOU that promises to, quote, explore the future of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft operations in Saudi Arabia, end quote. Under the agreement, the partners will, quote, explore the possibility of starting eVTOL operations in Riyadh and Jeddah in 2026, end quote, though exactly what that entails was not revealed. Evolita Limited sees design approval for Axial Flux Motor in UK. Evolita Limited, Axial Flux Electric Motor Specialist, obtained design organization approval from the UK Civil Aviation Authority for electric propulsion system products. Their D500 Axial Flux Motor is stacked for increased torque, offering peak power exceeding 1 megawatt. It's good news for eVTOL designers around the world, as is any electric motor or battery advancement. The firm is the first company in the UK to achieve such approval for an electric propulsion system that complies with actual certification standards. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Lilium chooses Honeywell for jet system. Lilium's recent selection of a cooling system shows just how slim performance margins can be in the burgeoning eVTOL game. The use of batteries throughout the modern world has well acquainted the average buyer to their deficiencies in hot climates, and the upcoming market of battery-powered aircraft is no exception. Lilium has opted for Honeywell's Micro VCS system for cabin climate control and battery maintenance, providing suitable temps for critical functions and offering a more efficient flight. The Micro VCS uses a circulating flow of high-speed Solstice ZD refrigerant, allowing a 10% improvement in hot day power efficiency than the traditional R134A. The system's use of an oil-free centrifugal compressor allows Lilium to retain their eco bonafides, thanks to the system's lightweight build, saving 9,900 pounds of CO2 emissions per year in the jet. The vapor cycle system will slot in nicely with the Lilium Jet's collection of Honeywell equipment already in use, including their Anthem Avionics, Honeywell Denso motors, and flight controls. The all-electric VTOL aircraft is planned to begin production in the coming year, providing, quote, a more efficient, sustainable, and accessible mode of high-speed regional transportation for people and goods, end quote. And after these messages, Rotor begins production on uncrewed helicopter. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Rotor begins production on uncrewed helicopter. Rotor Technology showed off the newest addition to their production line in the form of the R550X, the quote, largest uncrewed civilian helicopter on the market, end quote. The aircraft is based on the tried and true Robinson R44 Raven II, granting it a 1,200 pound payload thanks to its lack of pilotage. Much like its parent Raven, the R550X offers three hours of endurance and a top speed of 150 miles per hour, given the right conditions, of course, allowing it to be used as an actual aircraft, not a tiny ISR drone. Rotor says its added software can, quote, prevent common causes of helicopter accidents such as inadvertent entry into instrument meteorological conditions, vortex ring state, mast bumping, loss of control, and controlled flight into terrain, end quote. Funny enough, Rotor is galloping along at full speed on the R550X, launching it straight to production as soon as it's announced. That process works here because the R550X isn't a traditional crewed aircraft. The experimental category Hilo isn't designed to carry people, allowing Rotor to, quote, leverage existing FAA rules and regulations to fly the R550X in agricultural firefighting, inspection, and maritime operations, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.